So today, we're going to be playing in the ladder in hopes that we can go higher in the very first day of the season. I do not recommend you guys doing this, but we're going to attempt it anyways. Um, we're going to be using the main deck, of course. Can we go... Can we win lots of trophies? Hopefully 23800? We shall see. My name is Stu Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Before we get started in today's video, we're gonna open up uh, a lot of rewards. We got 1596 in the world, obviously not the greatest. I have placed higher than that, but obviously we are we are not pushing for the most part in the ladder because the ladder is pretty difficult to play. But we're gonna open up the grand champion reward, which I am super excited about. We're gonna open up or uh we'll pick the treant. We will we'll also pick, we're definitely gonna pick the striker. Level 23 striker, we can definitely use it and we'll see how it goes. Definitely pick, uh, taking the knight, of course. And let's see, we'll pick definitely the orc because the orc is actually higher than the than the giant. We're also going to pick the sorceress. Ooh, level 23 sorceress, we can definitely use her in match. Uh, definitely taking the enchantress too. And wow, no shamans. I definitely did not get shamans. I'm super sad about that. We're, we're going to pick the vampire. Okie doke, let's op so open up this reward right here. Let's see what we can get. Shaman to level 23, I am hoping, but um, uh, for right now, it does not look like we are going to get the Shaman to level 23. And right now, I'm not getting nope and nope. No Shamans to level 23, of course not. Let's also oh, claim this reward, sure. And uh, let's open this, because why not? And let's also open up the clan quest reward. Sadly, we did not push higher. I did not play a lot because I was, um, you know, dealing with, with some family stuff. So I did not play a lot. So I do apologize to the clan that I did not participate a lot. I just hope you guys understand. I really, really hope you guys understand. Again, guys, I do not recommend you guys doing this. I, I've already, I already played a smidge and we lost twice. So... I'm telling you, the first day of the season is always difficult, but I'm doing this so that you guys don't have to. So let's, um, if we can enchant the Barbarian and the Pirate, that would be great. There you go, we actually enchanted both of them, that's a good start. Um, I do apologize if I sound a little bit off. Um, the weekend has been extremely difficult for me. Um, lots of family stuff going on right now, and, uh, I may or may not be able to post videos for the rest of the week, but, I mean, I'll try. But um, I can't guarantee that we're gonna I'm gonna be able to. But I'm, I'm definitely gonna try, and we'll see what happens, shall we? Uh, but yeah, just letting you guys know that I'm a little bit off. Just a hard weekend. Um, some family stuff. But um, I hope you guys do understand. And of course, I couldn't do much in the um, the clan quest because of the very same reason. So I do apologize for the people in the clan that I could I couldn't participate in the clan quest uh very well. So I hope you guys do understand. But um, let's see, we are facing low level troops, but then again, this guy is at 3300, so a loss would be bad. But we should have this in the bag, should. Uh, can we double hit the pirate to heal up the frost box just a smidge? And, oh, we actually took out the pirate. And we also, uh, the frost box also uh, touched the paladin, so there you go. Now I think the mice man is the most dangerous troop to take out now. Because of the health plus the damage that he can do. He just took out the Shaman as well. So yeah, I think we should go after the Mice Bandit. So let's see if we can double hit the Mice Bandit right here. There you go. Plus healing up the Naga a little bit. Whoa, that double hit was actually just enough to take out the Mice Bandit. So we'll definitely take that. Uh, we should definitely win this one. Should. You know... My, uh, to Mike's famous last words, this should be an easy one. He surrendered. Okay, that was easy. Okay, so there you go. We won the first game. Um, can't complain about that. We're only going to win like 20, yeah, 22 throw, uh, trophies. That's not too bad. Um, we're trying to get back to 3,500 because that's where my trophy resetted. So, and obviously we lost before, before I started this video. But, um, we're going to try my best. We're definitely going to try my very best. Um, this is going to be a very risky play, but let's see if we can, uh... Push the shaman towards the mice bandit so we can enchant him because I don't want the naga to to go up. And there you go, we actually were able to enchant the mice bandit. 
So decent start. The Frost Fox took a serious amount of damage. That is not good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna... Actually, we can do this. Push, or should we heal up the Frost Fox? We'll try to enchant the, the Knight. There you go. We, we enchanted the Knight. That's great. We enchanted the Knight. However, I think the Frost Fox may die. If he goes after the Frost Fox, he may die. Yep, he took... He took out the Frost Fox, and of course he's getting all these lucky hits with the splashes, dude. Alright, so let's enchant now the Paladin. We may even take out the Mice Bandit. We did not just yet. And of course now his wizard is probably going to be lethal here. Because my troops are still, you know, sticking around. Okay, we can now enchant the wizard. And take out his Mice Bandit right here. The Mice Bandit is dangerous. Okay, we also did another double damage to the wizard. The wizard's almost dead. Um, we need to keep the Naga alive. That is the only way that we're going to win this one. So the Paladin needs to try to keep the Naga alive. So if we can double heal the Naga here, that would be awesome. So we're going to try to do this. Hit the knight, and there you go. We got the double heal. That's great. Uh, we definitely need that double heal. We, again, tried to keeping the Naga alive here. Let's, I guess we'll hit both of these guys. We'll hit both of these guys right here. Deal a little bit of damage to the knight as well. All right, so the Naga is, is at 700 health. She should be able to survive this attack. And then we can focus on hitting the Naga towards the Paladin. Yes, she is still alive, guys. She is still alive. The Naga is still alive. So let's, uh, let's do this. And hit the Naga towards the Paladin, hopefully. There you go, double hitting the, the, the Paladin right there. So he is going to heal up the Knight, I guess. He did not heal up the Knight. Okay. So we're going to double heal the Naga right here. Hopefully we can double heal right here. We were able to double heal. Let's go. So the Naga is back up to 1300 health again. 1500 health. All right. So we are playing pretty good trying to keep the Naga alive because that is the most important part. The Shaman did die, but that's fine. The Shaman already did, her uh, did his job. That's great. Let's see if we can push the Naga towards the Paladin to take him out. There you go. We were able to pull to push the Naga there. And the Naga should be at 2100 health. He says well played. Yeah. He knows that keeping the Naga alive was important. And because of it, he surrendered. So there you go, guys. Another win in the books. Again, uh, we're back up to 3500 flat. That's great. We're back up to 3500. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Then again, we were supposed to be here in the first place. So, um, his wizard goes first. Ooh, lots. Of, okay, not too bad. Actually, that was not too bad. We could, yeah. Let's enchant the wizard right here, and maybe the naga will go hit. Double hitting the warrior. Okay, we did not expect to double hit right there. We'll definitely take the double hit. He is gonna push the wizard towards my troops. Very nicely done. Um, I could go for the enchantment. Actually, we'll do it because the Frost Fox can heal. At least a little bit. And... Ooh, we did not hit the, the Paladin. That would have been nice. Or the Mice Bandit. That would have been nice. Hopefully he doesn't get a double hit on the mice on the Frost Fox. Or else the Frost Fox will die. E lots of damage. Golly. Alright, let's see if we can push the Mice Bandit towards the... I don't know why he's mad. He's mad. Or should we just go for straight damage? Yeah, we'll just go straight damage. We're not going to try to heal. Honestly, that was great. We did a lot of damage to the warrior and the mice bandit right there. He is going to take out the paladin and the frost fox. Okay. Hmm. Now we must keep the naga alive. So. So. So let's push the uh, archer towards the naga. And we should be able to enchant the warrior as well. We, okay, we instead of doing that, we just took both of them out. That's great. Now, we must take out the Mice Bender right now. How much health does Mice Bender have? The Naga can take him out in two hits. I need to do a two hit, two hitter, you know? So, we should... Ooh. Hopefully, the Wizard is not blocking, and we should be able to get a double hit right here. Of course, the Wizard bounced them away. Thankfully, the Wizard is blocking, but... Okay... Okay, um, let's actually hit the wizard instead. 
So let's hit the wizard. We'll also burn the mice pen a little bit. Another burn, is that enough? It was enough, oh my gosh. Because I think he would have easily taken me out right there with a double hit plus pushing the mice bandit upwards towards the shaman. So that was a great, great, great play. Let's just continue on. We're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. We are doing pretty good. Let's see who we're gonna face now. Ugh. Okay, thankfully this guy only has level 20. Well, the sorcerer is level 24, which is scary. We cannot enchant the first turn. And sadly, I think, yeah, he is gonna enchant the frost fox and the naga at the beginning of the turn right here because I made a ding dong move um, so we'll enchant the ice queen and the sorceress right here wow we almost just took out the sorceress and the ice queen right then and there oh okay okay Let's, um, if we can try to keep this, this, these guys alive longer, that would be awesome. Bro, the Frost Fox. The Frost Fox is back to full health. Pretty much. All we have to do is worry about, well, honestly, let's not worry too much about the Sorceress. Oh, he just took out the... Oh, if it wasn't for the enchantment, dude, we could have freaking won this. We could still win this. It's just going to be difficult. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, the bombs is actually gonna take out the Naga. So he's probably gonna focus on... No, he's not gonna focus on the Shaman, which is interesting. We're not gonna win this one, guys. Yeah, we are definitely not gonna win this one. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a very tough, tough win. Very tough. We can just hit him like this. Hopefully we can hit the Sentinel. We did not hit the Sentinel. Okay. So I think the Shaman is in a way that he cannot get twice he could he could figure out a way to hit the shaman twice but it's gonna be a little bit difficult for him to do so you never mind he actually pulls off the double hit let's see if we can hit the robot and the sentinel right here okay we did and now the robot is doing less damage which is great he is gonna play around with the sentinel to try to deal damage he completely misses Okay, that was great. He actually completely missed. Let's see if we can hit the Sentinel towards the burning stuff so that way we can deal extra damage to the robot. And no, we did not, but we were able to hit the robot twice. Okay. Unfortunately, the, the bombs will hit, will hit me, but that's fine. Let's see if we can double hit the Sentinel right here. Because the Sentinel, honestly, can take me out pretty easily. But not the robot. The robot would need to deal, I think, three hits, right? Yeah, I think he needs to deal three hits. So he's, gonna, again, going to play around with the Sentinel. He is still missing. He is still missing, ladies and gentlemen. Can we burn and then double hit? We did not burn. But I'm okay with this because he cannot hit me quadruple times. I have 350 health, okay. How much health does Roba have? That is not enough to take him out in one hit. So we're gonna do this and hopefully we can double hit. We did not double hit. And of course, I think I just gave him the win right there because it's really a stray shot. Oh my gosh, guys, I do apologize. I thought we were gonna be able to pull, to pull this one, but of course he gets the easy one right there because I literally gave him the line of sight. I was so close to winning in such a very such a very dangerous game right there. Honestly, thought I was going to be able to make a comeback right there. Sadly, I could not. But that's okay. That That's okay. We cannot win every single game, right? Even though I was trying to. But that's fine. Naga goes first. Sadly, that is not the card that we want to start off. We could try to double hit the Barbarian right here. Healing troops that doesn't need to be healed. Also dealing like 99 damage in the mice band because of the burn, we'll take it. Any burn is good or any damage is good damage, I guess. The Naga just died, didn't she? The Naga just died. What was I supposed to do? The Naga just died. Understood. Um, Let's see if we can do this. If we can double hit the archer, then we can heal the frost fox once. There you go. So we'll take that. Uh, we just need to enchant everybody else if we can. Double hit the Frost Fox. That's dangerous, dude. Um, like, 
like usual, we need to keep the Frost Fox alive, so we'll actually heal up both of these guys. We'll heal up both of these guys right here. Hey, a little bit of damage to the Mice Bandit right there. He may take out the Frost Fox here easily. Nope, he is still alive, barely. But he is still alive. Now, let's... We gotta enchant both of these guys. So let's hit both of these guys. Hopefully we can push the Mice Bandit towards the Frost Fox. We did not. We actually enchanted the Golem as well, so... And took out the Archer. Alright, so he can definitely take out the Frost Fox easily. If he double hits the Frost Fox, he can definitely take him out. He is not going after the Frost Fox? Dude, that's a bad idea. Okay. Okay, dude. You asked for it. But you literally kept the Frost Fox alive. Now is my, chi uh, my time to shine to win this game. Because you kept the Frost Fox alive. I don't know why you would have went after the Shaman and the Paladin, but... That was a bad play, dude. That was a bad play. You should have went after the Frost Fox to take him out, and then you could have had a better chance of winning. But there you go, guys. Let's open an orb. Yes, we can. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. And we are back. 35, 50, uh, 52. We are 52 above from where we started. Well, actually, a little bit less than that because... I did play a little bit off camera and I just lost. So honestly, we are uh, 100 trophies above from where we started in reality, which is great. He is going to push the Barbarian so she can start um, getting some damage up, which is scary. Um, we could heal up the Frost Fox and the Naga right here. And hopefully deal damage to the Barbarian. Yep, there you go. We actually double hit the Barbarian too, which was nice. Alright, so the my Shaman goes next. We need to try to enchant the Barbarian if we can, even though it's kind of be unnecessary because, golly, he's dealing a lot of damage right now. So let's do this. Hopefully we can heal up the, the, the Shaman if we can. And Warrior, we actually enchanted the Warrior too. Alright, so the Barbarian is doing what? 1100 damage. And that's with the enchantment, so keep that in mind, guys. Golly. Alright, so he just took out the Naga. Let's see if we can try to heal up the Frost Fox as much as we can. Because that is the only way that we're going to win. Keeping the Frost Fox alive. Okay, we also enchanted the Mice Bandit. We'll take it. We'll take it. Now we just need to enchant the, uh, the Wizard if we can. Also try to keep the Frost Fox alive. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Please don't touch the Warrior. Touching the Warrior is going to be an instant death. Okay, it's not. Ooh, don't touch the wizard. Okay. We're just barely hanging on right now. Barely hanging on. Um, I guess we'll double hit the... Mice Bandit. There you go. A little bit of burn action right there. Um, I think the Paladin can block. So he cannot hit the Frost Fox just yet. He is going around. Okay. Okay. Good game. There's, I, yeah, there's no way we're going to win this one. Um, we would need a miracle. We're definitely going to need a miracle in order to pull this off. Oh, so we're going to enchant the wizard so he does less damage. Okay. Okay. Everybody is hanging on by a thread. That's for sure. He is going to try to push the warrior to take him out right now. That was a very nice play of him. All right. Very good game right there. He he did play that super well right there. Um, sadly, we did not win. Because the Frost Fox just died. He knew what to do and he actually executed it very well. So we just need one, we just need to kill one person so that way we can um um get the daily quest done, you know? So we'll do this. We got three troops enchanted, that's great. No, we just need to enchant the mice bandit and we should be good to go to win this match, hopefully. So he's going to hit the Shaman. Okay, that's a little painful, but not the end of the world. Can we... What can we do? Double hit the Wizard. Double hit the Barbarian. Double hit the Warrior. We'll double hit the Warrior. Honestly, the Warrior is pretty nasty. We also hit the Wizard. Honestly, best play. Good play. Very, very good play. With his Barbarian, he is going to... If I were him, yeah, I would definitely push the Mice Bandit towards the Frost Fox. And then hopefully the Wizard can just deal damage right there. Very nice. Very nicely done. Can we... We must try to keep the Frost Fox alive. But can we push the Mice Bandit towards the Shaman by doing this? Nope. We missed. But... The Frost Fox is 
hanging on. We did heal him up quite a bit. However, he may die right now. The Frost Fox may die. No, he is still alive. He is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can push the Shaman towards him. Ice Bandit. There you go. Okay. We also did take out the Warrior, so that's pretty good because my, my Frost Fox and Shaman are getting very low health. So we are sitting pretty right now. The Shaman already did his job, so he can take out the Shaman if he wants to. I honestly have no much use for the Shaman right now. Um, if I could heal up the Frost Fox though, that would be nice. So let's try to do this, try to keep the Frost Fox alive. There you go. Also took out the Wizard, that's pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, seems like we're gonna tr we're gonna get an epic win unless he makes an epic uh, random play here, like taking out the Shaman. Doing that is not the play. He is also gonna hit the Naga. Okay, I'll accept that. Ooh, the Frost Fox died. Oh no, dude! Imagine losing right now. Let's do this, keeping the Naga alive, and we also did take out the Mice Bandit. I was worried that we were not gonna be able to take out the Mice Bandit. A double hit, the na the yep, the barbarian should not be able to take out the naga in two hits. In three hits, yes. So, oh my gosh, dude, he also just took out the paladin. Well, double hit take it will not take out the barbarian. No friggin' way, dude. We would need a triple hit to take out the barbarian. Come on, please. Triple hit. Oh no. All right, so. Oh no, we're gonna lose. He will need to double hit me, yes, but... <gasps> he missed! Oh my gosh, he missed. I cannot believe he missed that. I should have lost that one, guys. I should have lost that one. Alright, this game is getting intense right now. Um, As you can see, I do not recommend playing the ladder in the very first day because, you know... Um, you're gonna be facing difficult players. Let's okay. We got a reward. So let's claim this super happy about that and let's open another orb So I'll be right back a few moments later and we are back 3557. Let's see if we can get to 3600 um, We're gonna attempt to get to 3600, but if I lose right now, I think I'm gonna call it quits on the video because I mean I'm not I'm not feeling too great, but I'm just doing I'm just doing this for fun and for you guys' entertainment uh, but we will try to get to 3600 for you guys. Let's see if we can do it though. Um, if we if we win this, but I don't think it will be enough to get to 3600. We're going to attempt one more time. Um, the Night Ghost next. Let's let's hit the Mice Bandit. We'll just hit the Mice Bandit because the Mice Bandit is pretty dangerous. That Mice Bandit took a serious amount of damage. So he's definitely going to push the Paladin towards the Mice Bandit. He should be able to hit the Frost Fox as well. Yep, there you go. Very nicely done. Uh, we still cannot enchant troops, but we, we are doing damage. Let's see if we can take out the Mice Bandit right now by doing this. Yep. We just took out the Mice Bandit, which is one of his most dangerous troops. It's dead. So, super stoked about that. My Shaman goes next, so let's see if we can enchant, hopefully, at least two. Or, if we can enchant all of them, that would be awesome. But, uh, let's see what happens, shall we? He was able to double hit the Shaman. Very nicely done. Let's see if we can enchant both the Warrior and the Goblin right here. There you go. We were able to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Now we just need to try to enchant the, the Knight. And we should be good. Should. You guys know that those are my famous last words. It's, it's difficult sometimes. Hopefully it doesn't touch the Paladin. To keep the Paladin alive just a little bit longer. No, don't go after the Paladin, dude. Please. No, why would you? No. <gasps> he missed the Paladin. Bro, that was huge. Let's push the Knight towards the, the Shaman. And there you go. Now everybody's enchanted. Let's go. Now the Frost Fox and the Naga are deadly. And of course, the Paladin is an awesome support. Try to keep everybody alive. Is did this guy quit? No, he's so he's so playing. Okay, so he's gonna double hit the frost fox. It seems like triple hit the frost fox. Nicely done. Um, do, do, do. let's see if we can. Let's push the frost fox towards the the warrior. I did not expect the frost fox to hit the goblin as well, but we'll take it, dude. We'll take it. 
The goblin will... What is he going to do with the goblin? He's going to try to rack up damage. Is he going to... What is he going to do? He's going to hit the naga twice. He fails to hit the naga twice. Okay. Um, we'll definitely hit the warrior like this. And of course, heal up the frost fox a little bit more. Okay, we'll, we just took out the warrior and the, the goblin. That's awesome. All right. So it is just up to the knight. He surrendered. So that's an epic win right there. We are making a lot of people surrender. Let's go. Let's go. So let's open another orb. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. We are back 3588. We're going to play one more time. We're going to play one more time. Win or lose. We're going to end the video right there. I'm just hoping that we can win this one to get to 3600. So right now I do not have... Uh, we can definitely push the shaman towards the... If we can hit the barbarian, that would be better. Because the barbarian does go next. There you go. We actually hit the barbarian. So the barbarian has less damage for her, for her turn. However, he is just going to push the assassin towards the shaman. Okay, thankfully it was only one hit, not two. Um, Can we... Uh, golly, this is a difficult choice. We're going to enchant the Yeti because we don't want the Yeti boosted, you know? So we're going to do that. Even though it is the Assassin's turn, we're going to enchant the Yeti so that he doesn't go crazy with his speed buff. Because you know how the Yeti can be whenever he has uh, a speed buff. So it seems like he's going to hit the Paladin towards the Barbarian. I hope he misses because the Paladin is not that... Oh, he did. Okay, nicely done. Um, let's push the Barbarian towards the Naga. There you go. The Naga also hits the Banshee. That was great. However, it seems like he is going to push the Paladin towards the Assassin. That's death. That is death. Okay. That's rough. Alright, so we're going to hit the Yeti towards the Naga. Hopefully the Naga hits the Banshee, maybe. Gotta do this. The, wow, alright, so the Frost Fox also hits the Barbarian, trying to keep the Frost Fox alive. That's pretty good. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh, that was so close. So let's hit both the Yeti and the Barbarian here. It should be death to both of them. There you go. And of course, trying to keep the Frost Fox alive by hitting Enchanted Troops. That is the only way to keep the Frost Fox alive. Keep that in mind, guys. So if we can enchant the Assassin... Um, the Frost Fox should be pretty good. However, all we have to do is... Hmm... We could... No, I think that's risky. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of the Assassin. There you go. Got rid getting rid of the Assassin. The Banshee hits, or the Naga hits the Banshee. That was big. So anybody can take her out in one hit now. So the Banshee pretty much has one chance to win now. And honestly, she can't do much. Guys, so there you go. Another win in the books, guys. There you go. We got to 3,600 trophies. We actually did pretty well. Even though we started off the beginning of the season, we did awesomely well, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button, uh, to hit the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. I am surprised that we actually won all those games. Here's the deck. Of course, if you guys have, um, if you guys want to use it in, the ch in challenges, Trust me, it, it should work pretty well. It it works well for me playing in the ladder, so I don't see why I wouldn't play in the ladder bear in the majestic challenge very well. If you guys have any deck recommendations that you want to see, just let me know and I'll certainly use it for you guys. Uh like I said guys, I may or may not be able to post videos by the end of the week or throughout this week, but it, we'll see. We I might be able to, but we'll see. Just keep it just keep an eye out. Um, I'll, get, I'll let you guys know if we can uh, post videos on that. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.